Rosemont, I'm Adam Batinsky, here for Irish Update. Today, we're live in the RHS studio talking to Mr. Simney, the social worker here at RHS. He's starting a brand new mental health and wellness group this school year, and I'm here to tell you guys more about it and why you should join it. So hey, Mr. C, how's it going? I'm doing great. How are you today, Adam? Doing awesome. Thanks for asking. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to ask you a few questions about this brand new group that you're starting. Sure. So Mr. C, why did you decide to make this group? Well, at the start of the pandemic, one thing that I realized that we didn't have here at Rosemont High School was a formal support group for students who are either interested in mental health or maybe have diagnoses of mental health disorders themselves or they've been impacted greatly by mental health within their own home or their family system. And I, I wanted to create a, a safe space for students to come together to be able to explore those three prongs and do so in a confidential manner to help empower them around the theme of mental health. Are there any other benefits to joining the group? I think as we have learned over the last couple years, mental health has always been present in our health and wellness. Um, with the pandemic, in my opinion, it forced a lot of our students to really recognize that and embrace that and, and face that. Where prior to the pandemic, we were able to push that to the side a little bit and maybe become distracted by other things that really um, helped us weather those tougher moments. And, and as we've found um, that we all have mental health needs and we all deserve to be res uh, respected and supported. The Healthy Minds Healthy Lives Support Group meets in the library conference room at 2.30 p.m. right after school on Mondays. I highly recommend going there even if it's for one session just because mental health is so great to talk about. Thank you, Mr. C, for coming down today. It was a pleasure having you. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure being here. Hello, I'm Lizzie Dyshall from the Irish Update team. This will be the last show before Thanksgiving, and Thanksgiving is a very American tradition. We sat down with two students from overseas to see what they eat around the holidays. My name is Liana Matignan. I'm from Armenia. It depends on the holiday, but for example, the m most common one will be barbecue. During our celebrations, if we celebrate something, we will eat pork barbecue. And for Christmas, it will be like pork leg cooked a certain way. Uh, it's like meat, a lot of meat. And um, for desserts, we have pachlava, which we also like and love. And dolma also, which is with cabbage or grape leaves and meat, beef, rice. My name is Imge. I'm from Turkey. Uh, some of them are, we usually eat desserts in holidays. One of them is baklava, which is really hard to make. It has to have 40 layers of phyllo in order to make it, and those phyllos have to be handmade, so it takes a lot of time and effort. And one of the other desserts is Turkish Delight, of course, which is like a soft candy. We hand out Turkish candies and Turkish Delight in holidays. Okay, I am thoroughly hungry after e learning about these foods. I need to find them as soon as possible. Thank you for listening, everyone. And have a happy Thanksgiving, or whatever you celebrate. Hey, Irish. Have you ever had some extra energy to spend after school? Well, we've got the club for you. Boxing Club. Uh, boxing Club uh, takes place after school on Mondays and Wednesdays at the Irish Sports Dome. Uh, we have two groups. One is the ninth grade group goes at 3.15 till about 4 and the older group 10 through 12. Uh, 10 through 12th grade goes from 4.15 to about 5. Uh, the first question we always get is do we hit each other and the question, the answer is no. Um, we, uh, it's a workout uh, and the workout is in three parts. Uh, we have a heavy bag uh, station that we do, um, and we do a mitts or a paddle station, and then we do a conditioning station. And uh, we do eight three-minute rounds uh, with a minute in between each round. So um, it's a lot of movement, a lot of activity. Uh, the boxing club is open to anybody and everybody. It doesn't matter your grade. Uh, you can email me if you want to sign up. doesn't matter if you've had experience before. We have people who have had experience in martial arts, things like that, and people who have, have just started boxing. Um, so it doesn't matter. Uh, anybody's welcome to come up, and we will be doing the group until February. Uh, so there's plenty of time to sign up. Just give me an email and let me know, and we can get it started. I hope you learned.
learned a little something about Boxing Club today. It's a great place to come and have some fun and spend some of that pent-up energy. Peace, Irish. As most of you know, the Rosemont Marching Band is ranked the top band in Minnesota. It is also Rosemont's pride and joy. The marching band is very successful, but why? Today we're going to learn about the work that goes on behind the scenes and contributes to our band being super successful. The Rosemont High School Marching Band is ranked number one in Minnesota, and that feels amazing for sure. But we have we do a lot of work, we have a lot of practice and times, but it can be rewarding after a while. Practice times in the marching band vary, it just depends. Because in the summer, it's a lot of times can get hot and stuff outside. We have really long practices. Usually they're Monday through Thursday from five to nine. However, we have what we call drill week, which is where we learn the movements and the formations. Um, that is from noon to nine, Monday through Friday. And we even can go to band camp, which is up in St. John's College, up like Northwest Minnesota. This year we didn't do that obviously because of the pandemic, so we just had extra long practices, but band camp is a blast. The weekends just can get long though, as almost every weekend we have a band competition. Normally the season goes from July until October. This year is going until November because this is the first year we are doing Grand Nationals, which is amazing. Now you know more about what the marching band does to prepare for performances. We would also like to congratulate the marching band for placing 24th and being the first Minnesota band to make it to Grand National Semifinals. This is Michaela with Irish Update and I'll see y'all later.